According to sources, there's an estimated 1 billion devices in the world today running Windows 10. But Windows 10 comes to an end in 2025. Are you affected? Find out in today's video. But before we start, just a quick intro. My name is Jonathan Edwards from Integral IT. We help businesses all over the world with their Microsoft 365 and cybersecurity. So in case you didn't know, Microsoft have announced that their popular Windows 10 operating system will become end of life in October 2025. Now, this seems a long time away, but is it? Now, if you're sat at home running a single Windows 10 computer, you might not need to start panicking just yet. October 2025, as I'm recording this video, is still nearly two years away. But if you're running a business with multiple computers, you might have to start thinking about your Windows 10 to Windows 11 strategy. Why do you have to start thinking about it so soon? Well, at the moment, there's an estimated 1 billion devices in the world today running Windows 10. And crucially, lots of these devices cannot be upgraded to Windows 11. We recently spoke to one of our customers who has 50 computers in their business, and nearly 50% of these will not upgrade to Windows 11. So they've got to face the facts that they've got to purchase another 25 computers in the next 18 months to two years. They need time to budget for this. So why do so many computers need replacing? Well, a quick glance at the hardware requirements to run Windows 11, and there's nothing alarming. One gigahertz processor? Check. Four gig of RAM? Check. 64 gig free disk space? Check. But here's the thing, the big thing. If you dig a little deeper, you will soon realize that your computer will not run Windows 11. The most popular processor manufacturer in the world today, especially in businesses, is the Intel Core range. Now, Intel released their core range of processors in something called Generations. So the first generation was released in 2008. The second generation was released in 2011, and so forth. As I'm recording this video today, we are now using the 14th generation of the Intel Core range. So what has that got to do with Windows 11? Well, if your computer has an Intel Core processor, it has to be at least 8th generation or later to run Windows 11. The 8th generation was released in 2017. So this cutoff will mean that lots of older computers in the world become, well, redundant. So if you're sat there thinking, am I affected? How do I know what generation of processor my computer's running? Well, don't worry, help is at hand. Let me just jump onto that computer behind me and I'll show you a very quick way how you can find the processor generation in your PC. So I'm on my computer now. The first thing to mention is my computer is already running Windows 11. So it might look slightly different to your computer if you're running Windows 10. But to find the processor information on Windows 10 or Windows 11 is fairly similar, okay? If you've got a bar like this, like a taskbar, on Windows 10, that might be shuffled over here a little bit. But again, it's all very similar. So to find the processor information, I can do that in a couple of different ways. My start button here, again, if it's over there, that's fine. But you right click on that. And what you're looking for is something called system, okay? So you go into system. And you can see here, it says processor there. So that is my processor, okay? So that's the quick and easy way. Again, if you've got a search bar, you can type in system and system will come up there. Also, it might show up as system information that will launch a different screen. But again, you can see your processor information. So either of those work. So this is my processor here. It's called an Intel Core i5, okay? So this is what I'm interested in. It's this bit here after the i5. So yours might say Intel Core i3, i5, i7, i9. But it's this number here that I'm interested in. Particular, these digits here. So it's either the first digit or the first two digits that give away the generation of your processor. You can see that my processor is a 10th generation processor. 
But if yours said 8 or 9, it would mean it's an 8th or 9, or it could be 11 or 12 or 13. Crucially, if that number there is a 7, that means you are running the 7th generation of Intel Core processors, and it wouldn't upgrade to Windows 11. So that is a quick way to find out the processor in your computer. So I hope this video has been informative. I look forward to seeing you again soon.